Hey, welcome back for part two of this uh, little demonstration that we're doing here on uh, Linux live environments and um, how you can create one and use it in uh, your everyday machine to uh, sample different Linux distributions without modifying your machine. So in part one, we created the USB stick that we'll use for this and we put Linux Mint with the Cinnamon window manager on it. And I'd just like to show you a quick uh, demonstration of how you can use it. So I'm doing this on a Mac. It's a little Mac Mini. And here's the system stats on it. Just a Core i5 with 4 gigs of RAM. And I, I did up upgrade this one with an SSD. Uh, and it's still running the Mac OS X on it. So we're just going to do a shutdown. And then uh, we'll insert the... USB stick and boot back up and hold the option key and then this system will show us what our options are here so it's it's found the USB let's uh, scoot over tick uh, EFI boot here and start the machine from that and from there the Linux environment will load up here just a quick selection screen during the boot and we'll go right into Linux Mint cinnamon and so remember this is doing this with nothing installed on the machine at all so it's all running off the USB and during this startup process it's going to detect the hardware load all the drivers that's necessary and this is all built into the Linux kernel one of the real strengths of Linux is being able to do this with such wide hardware compatibility and if you've ever monkeyed around for hours trying to get a Windows driver in for a particular piece of hardware on your machine you may appreciate how well this works so just even in this span of chatting about it, here we are with a live Linux environment. Uh, it's already found the network, pulled a number from the router, and uh, we're connected. Let's uh, just jump on the internet here and go to a site just to show how quickly it found all this hardware and enabled it. And again, keep in mind if you've ever installed an operating system, how long that process takes. Obviously we're not copying files, so that's a big part of it. but. Uh, so we've got full internet capability here. A couple other things we can just kind of show off. Let's let's show maybe an Office application. Here's uh, LibreOffice, totally free, fully compatible with Microsoft's Office Suite. We'll just open up uh, Excel, you know, the, the equivalent to Excel here. If you're familiar with using Excel, this uh, may look a little dated, but uh, fully capable Excel environment. Uh, let's see. And so we can also... Let's, here's a good example. We're going to go to my network. Let's let's just browse my network and look for a share that I have. I've got a NAS. It's holding a bunch of multimedia. Let's bring this up and let's find a movie that we can try to stream to this machine to show off a little bit of its multimedia capability. Now, I'm not recording audio from the machine in this demo. So when we did this, there are no third-party codecs to run uh, the MP4 and, and you know the H. Dot two six four. When you install it, you'll choose to do that if you if you get to the point where you're installing Linux. But it's a good example though because I'd like to show you how easily you can go to their software center, find uh, an alternative player. Uh, VLC happens to come with the codecs kind of built into it, so it should be able to run that file that I was looking at. And so we just search, find VLC, do a quick install. Now this is. A little deceiving. It's not installing on the machine. It's just um, going to load it into the system's memory. It may look like it's installing. It's just installing in this temporary live environment. And see, it looks like we've just installed software that we can load up now. And here's a 1080p movie with full surround. And I'm going to skim through it quickly to avoid any copyright strikes here. But uh, look how quickly this does this. You know. <laughs> Uh, pretty interesting if it's the first time you've ever seen Linux come in in a live environment like this. So let's shut down and I'll show you that the uh, Mac is unaltered. We just go right back into it. It'll give us a little reminder to take the USB stick out of the machine here. Press enter. Start right back up in the Mac. And this will come back up with uh, no changes. So as we talked about in the first video, really good way to sample different Linux distributions. Um, lots of different ones out there. Go look at a website called DistroWatch. 
and you'll see um, links to all the various distributions or many of the various distributions with a little bit of reviews and information about them. Uh, lots of resources out there for looking at this. Uh, so I hope this has been helpful and thanks again guys.